Anything to discuss? Just now, outside, nah, somebody asked me about uh, eating meat and all that. Nah. Uh, I asked her, why, why don't you come here and ask? She said, she's shy. Nah. <laughs> Actually, yeah, a lot of people have the same questions. You don't have to be shy. Nah. So you can just ask anything. Nah. Uh, Pangse or liberation of uh, animals eh? is not mentioned by the Buddha. Eh? Uh, the way nowadays people do, eh? they go all out of their way, eh? out of their way to go to the market and buy all those things. Eh? Uh, seems a bit uh, um, unusual and also may not uh, be really beneficial uh, because, uh, you see, like Brickfield's temple, uh, or Mahavihara, many years ago, the chief monk uh, used to, every time Visa day comes, uh, they will release a lot of birds. Uh. Then after many years, uh, one of the devotees told him, uh, said that he notices, uh, every time Visa comes, uh, they catch a lot of birds. Uh, so there's a lot of birds uh, in stock uh, at the pet shop. Uh. In other words, uh, they know you're going to buy, so they catch all these birds. No? So after that, uh, they decided uh, not to release these birds uh, uh, because it defeats the purpose. No? I've been uh, practicing Mahayana for nine years no? and I've seen a lot of this uh, liberation of animals. No? And several times uh, I saw uh, they release these birds which have been in the cage for so long no? and they can't... Find, uh, find their food. Uh. Either they are so weak uh, from not exercising their wings uh, that they can't fly. In which case, when you release them, uh, they are eaten up by cats and dogs and all that. Uh. And I've also seen uh, some, uh, they managed to fly 10 feet, another one managed to fly 20 feet. The next day, uh, the one 10 feet one uh, fell to the ground. Two days later, the one 20 feet up there also fell to the ground. Why? Because they didn't know how to look for food. Nah. They've been in the cage in so, for so long. Nah. They don't know how to look for food. Nah. They, they've been used to people feeding them. So you, when you release them, nah, you're not doing them a favor. You're actually killing them. Nah. So also I've seen nah, uh, some... At one time, nah, they released a lot of tortoises. Nah. That time when I was in America, they released a lot of tortoises. But the place where they release uh, that river uh, was not suitable for the tortoises. A few weeks later, uh, you can find many of the shells are uh, dead. Uh, so, on the other hand, if you happen to see somebody about to slaughter an animal, uh, uh, and then out of compassion, uh, you tell him, uh, I buy from you, uh, don't slaughter the iguana or what. Uh, then you buy and then you, you bring, you, also you must bring it to a suitable place, you know. Don't simply release it. Uh. Uh. Twenty over years ago, uh, I was in a Mahayana uh, temple in Penang, and they brought a big python. You know, <laughs> asked the monk to release it, and the monk says, "Xiao Wei Man, how to release in Penang?" <laughs> so I asked him to bring to the Baling Forest to re- to to release la. It's true, ma. How you expect the monk to release in Penang? Either we eat somebody's dog, or he might be killed uh, by somebody. It's not his natural home. You must release it at the proper place. La. Yeah, yeah, it's a... Yeah, nowadays, uh, because the Mayanis, they always say they want to practice the way of compassion and uh, Bodhisattva path and all these things. Uh, so they like to do all these things. La. But you think carefully, uh, you, you release these animals and all that. Na. And then... Uh, um, if the, the fact that they are born as animals, uh, it means that the karma is no good already, right? They have to suffer. But this, pe- because people don't understand, the compassion uh, must come together with wisdom. If your compassion doesn't come to, together with wisdom, uh, you'll be doing things uh, that were practiced by external sect ascetics during the Buddha's time. The Buddha mentioned some of this. Buddha said, uh, some of these external ascetics, uh, when they go and, and beg for their food, uh, 
and somebody wants to give them food, and then they see a lot of flies around, uh, then they think in their head, uh, if I take this food, uh, the flies have no food to eat, so they refuse to eat, to, to take, uh, then he go off to another house. Uh. Then when he goes to another house, this woman about to uh, give him food, uh, might be carrying a newly born baby, uh. then he think to himself, if I take the food, uh, then this woman uh, will have less food to eat, then she will have less milk to give the baby, then he refused to take. Uh, and then he go to another house. If he goes to another house and somebody wants to give him food, uh, he sees some dogs around. Uh, and he think, if I take this food, uh, the dogs will have less food to eat. Then he refused to take. Uh, all this is uh, compassion uh, without wisdom. Uh, so, if you practice compassion, uh, must be tempered with wisdom. So, uh, just now I didn't finish uh, that these uh, animals, uh, because their karma is such uh, that they are born in the animal world to suffer. Uh, so, even if you don't release them, if you don't release them, uh, they suffer. Uh, and when they suffer, uh, it's, it's uh, natural. Uh, it's, uh, they are using up their bad karma. Uh, not that you're encouraging them to suffer, uh, but it's, it's their karma. Uh, so even if you help them uh, and they haven't worked out their karma, they'll be born again and again to suffer. Understand? Just like you cannot go to hell uh, and go and help the beings out of hell. They haven't paid for the, the evil they have done. If you help them out of hell, uh, if they come into the human world, uh, they might still do a lot of uh, evil. Uh, they might kill you, uh, they might not be... be be grateful uh, that you brought them out of hell, they might kill you first. Uh, it's because they have not changed their mindset uh, that they are still in hell. Hell is, is there for a purpose, you know. A lot of people never think, uh, why is there hell? Uh, hell is there for a purpose. Hell is actually made by our own mind. The whole world is made by our mind. When we do something wrong, uh, our conscience uh, makes us uh, suffer. And we have to suffer. It's a law of karma vipaka. Mm. If you don't suffer, you don't sell gyap. You don't uh, get rid of your bad karma. Mm. Say again. Our brain, every cell is complete, cannot be right? The whole night is going together, going but you don't explain very well huh? who is suffering and why is there suffering who made him suffer but it doesn't seem to have uh, much to do with what we are talking about lah, liberation <laughs> Are you asking a question or what? Just now, talk about suffering, right? Hmm? And this suffering, our brain, always negative, right? Confused. So, we don't know if we can sleep or not, right? And pressure, and defense. So, we want to let go of the worries, and we, and we, and we, what is uh, this attachment attachment to family that's why you have to suffer for it no?
Uh, that story uh, with Santara Jataka and the other Jataka, uh, where he, the Bodhisattva, he seems he saw this tiger uh, so hungry, uh, no milk to feed the cups. Uh. So this Bodhisattva jumped from the top of the hill, committed suicide to feed the tiger. Uh, that is compassion without wisdom. Uh. And it uh, contradicts the teaching of the Buddha. Uh. You must remember these Jatakas uh, were actually folk tales. Uh. It seems these Jataka, Jataka stories uh, were already in existence uh, before the Buddha was enlightened. Uh. It was just like grandmother stories uh, that we tell children. Uh. And in those, uh, at that time, uh, these Jatakas, uh, there was no mention of the Bodhisattva, no mention of the Buddha uh, at all. Uh. Then after the Buddha was enlightened uh, and hundreds of years later, uh, people used these stories uh, for the Buddha uh, and said that in the Buddha in his past life, this, he was a Bodhisattva, was born as a human being or born as a deer and all these things. Uh, uh, from where we get the Sankanchu stories. Uh. Uh, so all these uh, are grandmother stories uh, and they cannot be real because they contradict the the Dhamma, the Buddha says, uh, a good person's uh, dana offering uh, must not harm himself and must not harm others. Okay, so when he commits suicide, uh, he jumps down. He's not only harming himself, uh, killing himself. He's harming the whole family. If the whole family finds out uh, that he committed suicide, uh, they would maybe some of them may even go mad. Uh, too much attachment to him, just like. Uh, when I first uh, came out to work, uh, I had a friend, uh, he just got married and uh, in his work uh, he has to travel in his car. Uh, so he had a car accident and passed away. Uh, and the wife, uh, just uh, at that time pregnant uh, and was so overcome by suffering, uh, the wife became mad. Uh, uh. So you see, when you kill yourself, uh, somebody is attached to you, uh, the mother or father might go mad. Uh, uh. So you cause suffering not only to yourself, to your family members. Even this Vesantara Jataka, uh, where the Bodhisattva are supposed to have given away the wife, the two children uh, to this heartless beggar. He knows the beggar is going to torture them, going to beat them and all that. Uh. Still now uh, with tears in his eyes, uh, uh, he's supposed to have given it away. Why? Because he wants to cultivate the parami of giving. <laughs> this is very selfish. Ma. This is because you want to become a Buddha. Huh? You make your wife and your children suffer. What kind of Buddha is this? <laughs> Which oh, uh, uh, This is not a uh, posat law. This is tosat law. <laughs> So this uh, makes no sense. Uh, the Buddha says, uh, good man's offering uh, must not harm yourself, must not harm others. Uh, so it just flies in the face uh, of logic, flies in the face of uh, the Dhamma. If you tell this uh, to another a person of another religion, uh, he say your Buddhism is Xiao. Uh, asking the, the, the person uh, to give up his life. Uh, or the tiger, no logic. Uh, it is not no eating solid food. A lot of people misunderstand. <coughs> The Buddha, he, because uh, in the spiritual path, uh, if we eat three meals a day, uh, then uh, uh, you can become fat, you know, <laughs> and uh, you can become sleepy uh, a lot of the time, uh, lazy. Uh. So uh, being slim uh, is good uh, for spiritual practice, uh. not too slim. Uh. So the Buddha allowed uh, breakfast and lunch. Uh. But later when the Buddha went to a certain place, uh, he saw uh, that place was a poor place. Uh. And the monks, because they beg for their food, uh, they get very poor food. Uh. Just at, at one time, uh, many years ago, I was staying in Mukdahan, uh, near to Laos. Uh. For three weeks I stayed there. Uh. 
the people were so poor, huh, then we go on Pindabad, huh, we come back with what? Frog, you know. Huh? Not, 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 not the, the, uh, not the, the one in the paddy field, <laughs> no. but real frog, uh, toad, uh, toad, uh, with, the, with the rough skin, uh, uh, and then uh, beetle, uh, fried beetle uh, to eat, and then uh, a snail, a snail. Uh, when you bite the snail, uh, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> Not easy to bite. Uh. And then uh, rat, uh, snake, all these things. Uh. So eating uh, every day uh, is a torture. Uh. Luckily, uh, we have to eat only one meal a day. <laughs> Three meals cannot tahan. So, so um, uh, I forgot the point already. What was the what was the question? Ah, uh? oh, I Okay, okay, sorry. Uh. <laughs> so this is one very good reason for one meal. Uh. <laughs> so uh, this uh, so actually, uh, uh, we are allowed two meals lah: breakfast plus lunch as well as we eat in the morning. Uh. So the reason why the the Buddha says uh, we should eat after dawn uh, is because uh, before the Buddha made the rule, uh, in the before it's light, uh, the monks go on arms round. Uh. So in the darkness, uh, there's one time a lady uh, was standing beside the well, uh, taking water. And this monk, uh, standing quietly beside her, uh, not uttering a sound. When she turned around, uh, she thought it was a ghost, uh, she shouted in, in, in fear, uh. Then after that, she realized he's a monk. Uh, she cursed him. Uh, uh, why are you standing here uh, begging for your food? Uh, you don't have food. You better cut open your, your, your stomach. <laughs> don't have a stomach rather than you have to beg for your food and all this thing. Uh. So when the Buddha heard this, uh, he said, uh, when it's dark, uh, don't go around uh, like a prowler. Uh. Only after the sun comes up. Uh, that means for us, uh, after 7 a.m. Uh, uh, and then... Uh, uh, we are only allowed to bake up to noon, uh, the highest, when the sun is the highest, which is about one something uh, in this country. Uh, so during that period, we can eat. Uh, so we can eat basically breakfast plus lunch. Uh, and two meals is quite sufficient. Uh, uh, and um, if, you, if a monk has to uh, eat three meals a day, uh, then he goes not only baking in the morning, he has to bake in the afternoon again. It's a burden on lay people. Ma. Uh, lay people to give even once a day uh, is, is quite a strain already. Yeah? Uh, so, uh, now, so the Buddha came to a place, uh, he saw uh, that the monks uh, were not well fed. Uh, they were very thin and the veins standing out and all that, uh, looking very unhealthy. Uh. So he, when he found out the reason, uh, the Buddha decided uh, a few things uh, can be are taken by a monk, even at night. And these things are called medicinal allowances. And these medicinal allowances, there are uh, basically two or three types. One is called the five medicines. Five things. Uh, uh, one is uh, uh, butter. This butter uh, uh, in Thailand, uh, they interpret also as cheese. Okay? And then ghee, la. ghee is another one. And then various types of oil, uh, fish oil, la, lard, uh, uh, bear oil, la, alligator oil, la, all this chia uh, give you uh, strengthen your body, la. it's a tonic. La. Then the fourth uh, is uh, all kinds of sugar, la. sugar, sweets and all that, la. Uh, molasses, everything. And the fifth uh, is honey. La. Uh, honey. So these these are the five allowances, and then on top of that, uh, the Buddha allowed uh, what are called lifetime allowances, uh, medic- medicinal fruits. Uh, medicinal fruits uh, include like olives, uh, kana, uh, and then uh, this uh, even like this uh, uh, yukam, uh, what do you call it, amblica, what amblica, uh, yukam. And then uh, even this uh, Amra, I think, uh, Amra. Uh, and then uh, mm, in Malaysia, I, I would consider uh, like this, uh, 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 this uh, pala, nutmeg, uh, kuhong, uh, gets rid of wind. Uh. So these all can chew one, can chew. Uh, 
So these are considered medicinal fruits. Uh, you are allowed uh, any time of the day or night. Uh, you can keep also. Uh, and then medicinal roots uh, like quinoa, turmeric, uh, ginger, turmeric, uh, uh, ginseng, uh, 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 all the various types of medicinal roots. Uh, and then uh, medicinal leaves also uh, like peppermint, uh, poho, uh, uh, down kado, uh, a few types, uh, herbal, uh, herbal, uh, uh, neem, uh, uh, all this. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, and then uh, supplements like uh, vitamins, uh, uh, all those can. Uh, so there, are, there, there are quite a number of things uh, that are allowed at night, uh, just to make you stronger but not make you fat. Uh. Ah uh, yes, uh, short hair is permitted up to I don't know uh, I forgot I have to check the Vinaya books I think one or two inches. Uh, so, like certain monasteries, uh, they shave once a month uh, Here we shave once in two weeks uh, just before the uh, chanting of the Patimoka. Uh, I, I don't know about this, huh? can you explain? What kind of ceremony? By who? Organized by who? Uh, I don't know which group it is, but I know that they put up shapes and everything to bring people of the world to us. Is it by chanting or what? I think so. It looks like it's by chanting. Maybe because they believe in this medicine master Buddha, asking the medicine master Buddha to give health to everybody. <laughs> Put amulet where? Oh. And in some chanting, he put them to journey down So, do they actually see hell? Uh, from the people that I met, they said that some they see waterfall like the waterfall. Oh, they're very Nowadays, uh, there's a lot of these things. Uh, you have to be very careful because uh, it is possible they use occult. They use the occult. Uh, uh, so you have to be very careful. Uh. Mm, I've heard of a few cases uh, where this, this thing happened. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I want to contact the the the, the uh, dead relatives lah during the ghost festival. This is not part of Buddhism. Nah. What is Buddhism is only in the Nikayas. Nah. If it's not in the Nikayas, it's not Buddhism. Nah. This is all the rituals and all that. Nah. Uh, so, if you, if you, if you uh, get interested in all these things, nah, you, are, you are not practicing Buddhism. Nah. You, are, you are going off the track already. Nah. Mm. Mm. In the original Buddha's teachings, uh, our relative have 
passed away, uh, we cannot help them. Uh, but we can do a little uh, for those in the ghost realm. Uh, and I believe because the ghosts uh, are the only ones that come back. Uh, uh, if your relative is born as a ghost, uh, usually he's suffering uh, and he comes back and he wants you to know uh, and wants you to help. Uh. So some people, uh, they hear footsteps. Uh, uh, after their relative have passed away, they hear somebody walking at night, but they can't see. Uh. Or the door is open and closed by itself. Uh, window open and closed, or the light open and closed by itself. Uh. In which case, uh, you can only help them uh, in a little way. Uh, that is by giving them food. Uh, either directly, uh, placing the food uh, outside the, the house, uh, outside the gate. Uh, or you uh, do... Uh, charity la, and transfer the merit to them la. and the best is before you do the charity or the dana you inform them la. and if you want to inform ma, you better inform all your relatives in the ghost realm la. because according to the Buddha we have many many relatives in the ghost realm la, waiting for help la. so uh, only those uh, because they come back la, we can help them la. and also in a small way you cannot bring them out of the ghost realm Imagine, uh, if you can chow to, uh, you can bring these beings out of the ghost realm or out of hell, uh, then the Buddha must be a stupid fellow. Why the Buddha didn't do it? Uh, the Buddha has all the psychic power that anybody can have. And if the Buddha is so compassionate uh, and he didn't do this, uh, you must scold him. Uh. Uh, but the fact is that the Buddha says, uh, nobody can help. Why? Because the whole, whole world uh, is just a dream. Uh. Because of our bad deeds, uh, our mind makes us uh, see uh, we are having a nightmare. Uh, we are having a nightmare and we think uh, we are in hell. Uh, suppose a person is dreaming at night, uh, he's having a nightmare, can you help him? You cannot help him, uh, you have to, he has to wake up. Yes or not? Mm. So in the same way, uh, the Buddha's way of helping us uh, is telling us to wake up. The Buddha is the awakened one. We are all dreaming. Uh. Sangsara is a long dream, uh, dream, one dream after another. That's why the Buddha says uh, consciousness uh, is a uh, uh, maker of this uh, great show, uh, Tuahi. Uh. Consciousness uh, makes us see ourselves uh, as the hero, uh, as a human being, or the, the main star. Uh. Uh, in, hu in the human realm or in the deva realm or in the hell realm and all that. Nah. Just as when you dream at night, nah, who's, the, who's, the, who's the most important man in the dream? It's you. Ma. So in the same way, when we uh, are in sangsara, the most important person uh, in sangsara, uh, we keep dreaming we are the most important person. Hmm? Uh. Oh, Oh, you cannot think, uh, cannot control your last, uh, your last thoughts. A lot of people think uh, at the last moment, uh, oh, I'm going to chant Omitohut, uh, then Omitohut will bring me to the pure land. Uh, no such thing. Why? Because uh, when you are dying, uh, after some time, uh, your consciousness, uh, will, uh, the six sense organs uh, will stop one by one. Uh, your eyes will stop seeing. Uh, uh, your ear, your nose will stop smelling, your taste buds will stop working, uh, and your touch uh, will stop, and then your hearing will stop. The last to stop uh, is the mind. Uh, but before the mind stops, uh, you will reach a state uh, where the breathing stops and the heart stops. When that happens, uh, the doctor will say, oh, this person, see si uh, is dead. But that is clinical death. And clinical death uh, is not real death. Uh, so a doctor pronounces the patient is dead, uh, but he will still live another one or two hours. During this one or two hours, uh, the mind will continue to work. Uh, uh, that time, uh, you have no control. You cannot think of omitahood and all these things, uh, because at that time, what you think of uh, is your natural frequency, depending on your karma. If your heart uh, is a good heart, uh, always thinking of helping people, uh, then uh, you'll be thinking good thoughts. Uh. If you're a violent person, uh, uh, those thoughts you are thinking, uh, you are violent thoughts. Uh. Uh, 
So those thoughts now will bring you to rebirth according to your karma. Uh, the violent person will be reborn in the animal realm. Uh, the evil person now uh, will be reborn in hell. Uh, the good person will be born in heaven, not uh, the human world. Uh. So like uh, several years ago, uh, one Penang devotee told me the mother died of cancer. At the last moment when the doctor said that she is dead, uh, her face was in pain uh, because she died of cancer. Uh, the body was in great pain. Uh. So the whole face uh, was in pain. But one hour later, uh, she told me uh, the mother's face uh, changed uh, to be so happy, uh, so bright, uh, so smiling. Uh. That shows uh, her last thoughts uh, during that one hour were good thoughts. Uh. She had a good heart. Uh. Uh, so the fact that you see her, uh, the face so smiling and so happy, uh, that means she's gone to a good place. Uh. Mm. So those thoughts, no control. Uh, we like to think uh, we can control our thoughts. Lo. So uh, the Mayanis also say, uh, Yam Omi Tohut. And then the Abhidhamma people uh, will say, uh, your last thought, uh, you must think of uh, good thoughts and all these things. But not what the Buddha says. Uh. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, uh, what people are practicing, uh, Buddhists uh, are practicing, uh, is so far from the Dhamma. So, so very far. Not the Dhamma at all, and they think it's the Dhamma. Not Buddhism at all. Come, got some doubts, you better ask. Wait a while and then... No. No such thing. La. What happens, uh, usually la, you find uh, people, if they are going for a bad rebirth, uh, what they see uh, is very frightening. La. I've heard of some people, uh, their relative passing away, uh, the eyes suddenly open so big uh, because they see something so frightening. But, but in many cases, uh, one or two days before they die, uh, the other world will start surfacing already and they will see uh, and sometimes they will start behaving as though they are in that other world. Like many years ago, one lady told me, uh, the father, just a few days before he died, uh, he walked all over the house uh, like an animal uh, on all fours. Uh. Then he go out, he, he'd go outside, uh, he'd bring a lot of rubbish into the, into the room. And they asked him, uh, what are you doing? Uh, where are you going? Then he says, going back to the dog house. Uh, so probably he born as a dog. And there was another lady in Telo Intan. She, when she died, uh, just a few days before she died, she kept crying. Uh. They asked her why. She said, why? Who took away all my clothes? I have no clothes to wear. But everybody saw that she was, she was fully clothed. Uh. That shows uh, she's going to probably take birth uh, in the ghost realm. Uh. Uh, no clothes to wear. Uh. Uh. So they asked me, this lady has been chanting Amitabhut for 30 over years. How come? So I said, nah, she only uh, chant only. She never changed her heart. Nah. Uh, when we practice the Dhamma, we have to change our habit patterns. Uh, keep our sila. Uh, be generous. Uh, have a good heart. Nah. Uh, but a lot of people like this, lah, when they then they think. Uh, uh, this Amitabha Buddha going to help them, or Kuan Yin going to help them, uh, then they cling on to that, uh, and they don't want to practice on their own. Uh. But the Buddha's teaching is that nobody can help you. Uh, if you don't swim, you're going to sing. Uh, so you better help yourself. Uh, that's why the Buddha said, be a lamb unto yourself, be a refuge unto yourself, with no other refuge. Take the Dhamma as your lamb, take the Dhamma as your refuge, with no other refuge. Only the Buddha, the, the Dhamma can guide you. But with the Buddha, the Dhamma as your guide, uh, you have to walk the path. You have to make all the effort. No other person can help you. If there's any other being that can help you, uh, there'll be no beings in hell already. There'll be no beings in the ghost realm. There'll be no beings in the animal realm. Yeah? So many Buddhas have come. So many Bodhisattvas have come. Why nobody doing their work? Huh? The, 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 the Bodhisattvas must be sleeping. Hmm? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, one of our devotees told me, uh, the auntie, uh, two days before she died, uh, long Dracula teeth came out. But after she died, uh, then the teeth disappeared. I mean, she had really taken the form uh, of that ghost, uh, the fierce ghost, uh, because her character was very fierce, uh, always angry. Uh. Ah, the teeth disappeared. You only suffer, pay back your karma. And how many times you are reborn in the animal realm depends on your karma. For example, the person, uh, he likes to shoot wild boar. He might be reborn as a wild boar many, many times to be shot. Don't worry, you, you, you will never be reborn as a black ant. Because uh, as a human being, uh, we have evolved uh, to a high state. Uh, I don't believe uh, as a human being, uh, you can be reborn as a cockroach, or as a tick, or as an ant. Uh, the, 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 the mental level is not the same. Uh, you can be reborn as a buffalo, uh, if you are a goo cat. Uh. You act like an animal, you'll be born as an animal. But animals, although you see they are simple-minded, they, some of them are like dogs. They have a bit of a human nature, you know. You have a dog, sometimes when we play certain Dharma CDs, it has some old Chinese music. Some memory will make him howl, you know. Maybe he used to be a China playboy and reborn as a dog. Somebody has a heart attack and No, no, you won't know. Now why do you want to know? Know yourself and <laughs> This thing happens uh, because nowadays uh, a lot of people, they dabble with the occult. I speak in English first. Uh, this thing happens uh, because nowadays a lot of people use the uh, occult, uh, use spirits. Uh. So when you look at that person, uh, you are hypnotized. Uh, and then... Uh, uh, this lady, uh, even one of our devotees, uh, she met this uh, lady like that. Uh, and then uh, after being hypnotized, uh, she went back to her house, took back, took out all the jewelry uh, and gave it to that woman. Uh, and then the woman gave her something, I said, don't open until you go home. Then when she went home, she opened, uh, she found a you know, tomato or something like that. Uh, so today, uh, she was symbolat. Our mind is not strong, nah? you get controlled by this spirit. Nah? So you have to make your mind strong. Nah? Don't think so much. Nah? Women think a lot, that's why their mind is not strong. Uh, so uh, when you have nothing to do, uh, you must chant nah? Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya, Namo Buddhaya. Uh, keep chanting uh, so that your mind is concentrated. Nah? Mm. Women usually get into these uh, problems because women. Nah, uh, mind's very scattered. Mm. Women worry too much, that's why they think so much. Mm. I think the 
Actually, all that control nah, is for monks, not for you. Nah. one, uh, you have to listen to the Dhamma more, uh, and then uh, you will get the guidance there. Uh. Uh, the Buddha says, uh, the spiritual path goes one way, the worldly path goes the other way. So it's difficult to combine the two. Uh, so you have to use your wisdom. Uh, uh, you want to walk the middle path. And uh, unless you, your foundation on the Dhamma is very good, uh, you won't be able to know what to do. Uh. So you have to listen more to the Dharma talks. Shall we end here?